Oh, you pretty quiet for a big guy, bro. <laughs> Snuck up on me, I couldn't even tell, man. <laughs> what were you having? Uh, I might have, I'm just trying some... Peanut onion, butter, bread. Onion, peanut butter, bro. But I got some food over here. And I got some other things at the table. I'm oh, at. Just have breakfast then. I've already lose. I've lost my voice, as you guys can probably tell. Uh, so it was a good weekend. Gonna get some food with Uzo and Zach, and then gonna go train in one of my favorite gyms. So uh, down in Birmingham. Uh, yeah, looking forward to it. How's it going? What's up? What's up? I'm scared. <laughs> Are you? I'm scared. Oh look, he's got his uh, Superman tights on. Just yeah. To, just to get ready. To give me strength. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you hate fever? I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm good. I got some coffee here. <laughs> oh, he is. He's, he's hungover. Oh, no, God. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a broken man here right Revenge. now. Revenge. <laughs> this is professionalism at its finest. And there's Obi over there. We're all we're all okay, used to 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 in his presence. I'll just Obi. Yeah, I know. Obi is a very talented guy. You know, he can do this type of thing. Especially we're looking forward to all your metcons, Obi. So you know me. Learning all your all your workout tips and tricks. All the metcons. Getting ready to head out now. <laughs> with the team, Obi. they're gonna do a sick Metcon work. Obi's ready to kill us. He's gonna be the one putting us through it. Yeah. I'm very scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a fun, fun session. Some plan, something vicious? Uh, no, it's gonna be nice and easy. You know, gonna take it easy today. Okay. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> so, the idea of today, the whole point is to, again, introduce bodybuilders into a little bit of CrossFit Metcon, um, which has always been my goal, is to try and break the mold and that stigma of you can't make gains or train properly if you mix bodybuilding and CrossFit and it's awesome that they want to try it just like I've had done before. So uh, yeah, this should be a, a fun experience. Getting to repeat that again <laughs> for the third <laughs> <Yeah>, time. <laughs> third time today. He's breaking every stereotype about CrossFitters. This is <laughs> the biggest man I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> and and oh, we'll just see if he does the, the kipping pull up side. Then that'll be the decider on whether or not he's a he's a true skinny CrossFitter. <laughs> nah, I mean I, I, watch, I just see a bunch of memes online. You know, just couldn't put my guy in any of those memes. Like you know, you would, it wouldn't make any sense. So, no, nah, too man. big for memes. Too big for me, but I do, I do believe in it. So yeah, but, he, he's talking about all these conspiracy there's some theories. Weird things. There's really not. And Joe Rogan would talk about this. He was like, he used to think the moon landing was fake because all those pictures were fake. But he was mm. like, mm, just because they fake those pictures doesn't technically mean that they didn't go to the moon, though. Yeah. So I'm like, by that logic, I guess you know you're right. Just because they faked it doesn't necessarily. Just because they faked those pictures doesn't necessarily mean that they didn't. Go. So it seems like those are like usually. Excuses. You believe the ones that. The government's really trying to do something. I think the government different. is trying to suppress us. I think we all need to make YouTube channels and talk about this stuff. No, I'm playing now. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> yeah. What shit about that goes on in America for sure. Aliens? I believe in aliens because this universe is so damn big and um And alien gains as well. Where did I come from, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> After listening to some conspiracy theories <laughs> with Azoma, we're at the gym now. About to go and get a session in. Uh, got my pre-workout <laughs> so yeah I'm looking forward to it oh. <laughs> Five cameras all over you. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Stop in, Uzo. You okay? Chill it, chill it, chill it. Good, good, good. How are you doing, bro? You good, man?
Stand up, walk around. Get your breath, catch your breath. Come on, Zach, let's go. <laughs> Let's go, come on. The legs are on fire. <laughs> I'm already fatigued. And all I know is we got four more exercises left. <laughs> That's next level. My heart's going crazy, Spencer's boy. So dead. <laughs> He's coming for well it. Well done. Frost is next. <laughs> while smiling. Hold on. They're honestly so fatigued. Damn. What are those? Man, I can't like, it's so, it feels like I've just trained arms for like, <laughs> reps. And you haven't even done any arm workouts. No, and shoulders, like, yeah. my whole, I'm so fatigued. Yeah. We're like so weak. It's just, that was a battle, like. <laughs> I feel bad, Uzo's in a different. So you get like a, a newfound respect for this level of fitness. Like it's one thing to look at say Obi when he's doing this stuff. You guys be like, oh yeah, fair enough. But look at the size of him. You know he's probably fit. But I can tell you now, jumping into this and trying it, it's like a whole another level of respect. It's 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 something different. You guys have to try it. It makes me feel good to hear him say that because a lot of people don't understand that it is still hard work. That's what breaking mode is all about. And. We're in workout two, we did assault bike and thrusters dumbbells and like they're already feeling it and it's, it shows how far I've come because I would have been in the same boat when I started but like I'm ready to go, I'm ready to do what's next, what's next and they, they like need a break. It just shows you that it's a, a different, it's a, another level of fitness which can be applied into what, into bodybuilding, into what we do. So I'm just happy at least they came to try it out so.
feel bad. What have you done to us? I feel bad now. <laughs> what have you done? I feel bad. So that's the workout done. How are you guys feel? I'm dead. I've actually just like, I've had a half an hour to recover and I still feel quite shaken up. Yeah. What about you, Z? My inner abs are just like tore up. My heart feels like it's not there. Um, yeah, I'm just beat, bro. I threw up. I don't know if you saw that on camera, so. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy they actually decided to try it and um, give it a go. Even if they hated it, never do it again, but at least they can say they tried it. They know what it feels like. And that's what I want to bring out and come across to all aspects of bodybuilding um, to understand that you can still do both like I do and they're breaking the mold by trying something different which is what I'm trying to bring out there so I'm happy they tried it I feel bad that he threw up <laughs> thanks hey, it don't matter thanks for taking us through it bro burning. my chest just, is still burning from that yeah I like really just overexerted myself man it felt like I was doing like I said it felt like I was doing it a very intense like leg day like maybe eight sets of squats and I'm burning out each freaking set going really past failure and um yeah, it just yeah. felt like overexertion. But I've learned how to like program now for newbies. And also, when I saw what, how he felt, I knew that we had to stop, even though he was like, let's go. You have to know when your limits are and stop. There's always tomorrow, try again. So that was the whole that was the whole point of this. So it's like you always have that little ethical dilemma, like am I being a little bitch or yeah. like should I really stop right now because uh, my heart's about to cop out my yeah. damn mouth. Um, yeah, but so. I'm happy they tried it. Thank you guys again. Yeah. Thank you. Guys. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Fucking Mr. Hell. Champion. Seriously, this guy is probably the biggest athlete I've seen. Like, like we call ourselves right? athletes and I feel like a sloth. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he's an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up. I'll hey. appreciate it. And peace out. Peace out.